we're saying is costing $300 million. The operational costs, there is no new money there because all of those departments are already functioning. We're just putting them into a new space. So, so the answer to your question that you're asking about new beds, this project isn't looking directly at that. Why? Because you have to put your money somewhere first. And, and we think this is the biggest necessity we have. That doesn't belittle what you need and what you're asking about. But fixing that problem in the long term, it isn't going to go away. That problem is going to continue as we all go older and need more things. This is trying to look ahead with some leap of faith saying, this is where I think we need to go. You know, at the same time saying, yeah, we're trying to feed the kids at the same time. We're trying to save money at Standard University. Also, those, uh, those aren't offices. You're referring to the pre-surgical screening clinic that the Grand Salt Water should be canceled and the uh, EMG lab. That's where those things are put on the half of the rehab board because there is no other space in the hospital. But, but what you're really saying is, what she talk about? The space would be there for beds if we had the money to operate them. Yeah. And that's not what's happening in the province now. It's a different direct issue that we haven't dealt with here because we thought this was our priority. Not that it's not an important issue, but we have to make difficult decisions. And in Penticton, one of the reasons I moved here was the physicians and the administration have taken the attitude, let's get it done and do it. And that's how we've got all these services here. Okay, we're going to show a quick video. It's two minutes. Um, I think you'll, you'll find it inspiring. I certainly did. And then if we will have time for one last question after the video, or perhaps two, uh, if you like. So uh, I'll just have a cue the video.
the doctor's initiative and hear about the patient care tower. I'm going to ask you to do some more. Uh, would you pick up, if there are any left, the letters, give them to your friends and family, go to the website, watch the videos, and uh, over time uh, we will get our voices heard. So please do uh, take that information sheet, take the email addresses, and uh, give them to anyone you know and tell them why we need a new patient care tower. Um, thank you for coming this evening. Uh, thanks to the city for uh, support of this initiative. Uh, I got great support from the councillors and, um, and from the mayor and appreciate all their help. And to close the evening, I wonder, uh, Dr. Reza, if you want to make a final comment. Yeah, I'd just like to thank my colleagues for coming out and supporting this. And jump into the two-dimensional world again. Alright, well, um, thanks for listening. A lot of you are from BC. For those that aren't, well, you all down south here having to learn about public medical systems to a new degree, I understand. on your direct adaptation. Hey, thanks for your time. Safe.